Harry, Harry, Harry. Uh, wait. Harry, Harry, this little potato. Now, let me mention something. I've been sick for three days. This is my, no, not third day. Um, four days. I'm, this is just going to be a short what if. I, my voice still kind of hurts. My throat is still kind of sore and all that. But it's going to be a short video. <clears throat> Only 30 minutes long, probably, if I don't overdo it. And also, I, I'm hoping I, I'm better tomorrow. But yeah, tomorrow I might be doing uh, what if Naruto ate three devil fruits? What if Naruto uh, was the reincarnation of uh, Sanjin Wu and Gojo Satoru? <clears throat> and even what if Naruto was the, uh, well, had the Anko abilities? I also have. Two new what ifs, but those two new what ifs are actually Luffy what ifs, and yeah, <coughs> but yeah, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> now, this what if is called What If Naruto Had Gotten the Curse Mark instead of Sasuke. And um, this was actually requested on the live stream from a person named Toxin. Yeah, Toxin. If I can remember right. Yeah, that's he's going to be an OC character in this what if since he's the one to request it. And he wanted to have, well, himself an OC character in this. I'll mention how he will. Well, I mean, yeah. I probably won't even get to his character, but I don't know. <coughs> so, let me mention him. Uh, not mention him. Let me mention Naruto. So, we go into Naruto. Of course, um, might be speaking slower, slower than normal, but yeah. We go into Naruto. Naruto is right now just, well, he was with Sasuke and the whole fight with Orochimaru. Of course, when what's called, uh, Sasuke and Sasuke were dealing with Orochimaru and Naruto deal with the snake. Of course, Orochimaru... Well, he pulled out his blade and, of course, had his, like, ready to... Yeah, he pulled out his blade, his Kuzunaki blade, and rushed at Sasuke. Now, Sasuke wanted to, what to call, well, substitute. He substituted with just a wooden log, which Naruto gets there. And, of course, after Sasuke manages substituting with a wooden log, Orochimaru extended his neck and was a bite on, well, Sasuke's neck. Now, of course, Naruto... Well, not uh, Sasuke. Wait, let me mention something. Naruto. When Naruto gets there and pushes Sasuke away because he does have the whole Nine Tails chakra eyes and all that. The, uh, what, nine, the slick eyes. Uh, Orochimaru didn't bite on Naruto's neck because, well, he knows it's going to be pointless in trying to bite him. Because he only has one time and this, well, he's not trying to bite on Naruto, who's basically the Nine Tails of Jerky. And cannot give the curse mark, which he thinks about it. And then he also doesn't want to have Sasuke, because Sasuke's useless as hell. She doesn't have anything special about her, okay? <clears throat> so, of course, this is where, well, uh, he decides to grab, well, well, not slice at Naruto. Instead, he decides to grab Naruto from, like, the, like, head. And then just, uh, well, get his stomach up. And put the, uh, what's called, five element seal on him. Now, of course, this is where Naruto gets kicked into the tree. Into, well, the, uh, well, yeah, he gets kicked into the tree. Now, of course, after getting hit into the tree, <coughs> this is where Naruto's somewhat loose and unconscious. This is where, well, Sasuke's uh, scared as hell and she doesn't know what to do. This is where Sasuke says, damn it, Naruto. This is where, well, Orochimaru says, hmm, Sasuke-kun, you look pretty good today. With his pedo-ass mother. But this is where, well, he was about to bite on Sasuke to give him the curse mark. <clears throat> and be finally having the Uchiha body. But Naruto, with the little little bit of the Nine Tails chakra still inside him, but still being able to kind of control it a little bit, he decides to rush at Swell. Sasuke and push well like kind of just push Sasuke away from the bite of when Orochimaru 
bite him. Instead of biting uh, Sasuke, it bite Naruto right in the freaking shoulder. At the same arc where, well, not the same arc. The same place where Sasuke was bitten at. This is where Naruto, ah! This is where Sasuke says, Naruto! This is where Sasuke uh, just like, she realized she's useless as fuck. Yeah. This is where, well, Naruto falls down into almost a tree branch when Sasuke managed to grab him. This is what Chomaru says, sad brat. Ah, I don't have another curse mark. And I can't let DG just escape. I can't kill him right now. Yeah. This is where Ambu's, well, he felt like chakra, uh, what's it called? Multiple chakra signatures, making them Ambu's. This is where Chomaru says, fuck. Ambu, so this is where, well, he disappeared. He ran away. So, of course, this is where Sasuke he said, Naruto. Naruto passes out. Now, of course, this is where we go into Naruto's mind. Of course, Sasuke and Sasuke had to bring them towards what's call. Well, the same place where Sasuke kind of left that, uh, went to. When she got there, of course, well, she told Sasuke to lay down with what's it called also put in Naruto near somewhere to lay down also Because Sasuke had bandages and wanted to heal Sasuke first and Naruto now since Sasuke didn't get the curse mark He's not that emo right now or that emotionless in the darkness emotion or whatever instead We go into Naruto's mind So of course Naruto he is sort of floating in the water and for some reason he feels this well pull in to be pulled into the mindscape yes he's pulled into the mindscape of where well, the cage is at with uh karama karama says first of all don't say anything second of all i only have tiny bit of chakra and the only chakra i'm going to be using is to blow off that freaking pedo s snake after that go get the uh what's car well the, uh, what is the fucking name? The Hokage to unseal your freaking whatever five fucking mark seal, whatever the freaking pedo snake did. This is where Naruto, he wasn't really gonna complain with, well, Karama. And Karama, he just blew like a little bit of his chakra, the uh, little less chakra that he can only like give out to uh, Naruto. And when he did that, well, Naruto gets hit by the chakra, but also the mark changes. Instead of the mark being, well, a mark that had this, this was the mark before, it changes into having more of, well, different marks. Now, of course, the, this, like, three Tomoyas and all that, those marks actually disappeared. So, of course, this is where Naruto says, what the, his, like, what's called the curse mark changes. Now, if the only thing that really changed is the different pattern, but also, it also was a caught change the fact that Orochimaru's soul was actually burnt alive when Karama threw some of his, like, well, some of the chakra that he can pass through. So, yeah, burning off Orochimaru's soul so Naruto would not be able to be uh, the new vessel of Orochimaru. Since that is the thing, Naruto just said, So, Naruto. He actually, like, gets out of the mindscape because Karama just said, I can't talk to you, kid. Bye. Because, well, the connection was basically, like, thin ropes of being cut off. When Karama launched that chakra at Naruto, it was fully just cut off. So, of course, Naruto does not have a connection to Karama no more. So, yeah. Until the seal is, well, what's called put back into the normal seal for Naruto to get chakra from the Nine Toes, he won't have a connection to that time. So, of course, well, also, if you're wondering why I put the seal here, like near Naruto's neck as well, I couldn't really put it over here because it wouldn't look that great. Yeah, it would have messed like this one for this one. Okay, yeah, I'm an idiot. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's see what time is it? Yeah, it's eight o'clock. Uh, blah. But not the point. I know my voice seems a little bit deeper sometimes, or seems a little bit scratchy, or whatever. 
are different. That's just because I'm still sick. <clears throat> Not the point. Also, I have this disgusting taste in my mouth for some reason. Yeah. Not the point. But yeah. Uh, so we go into Naruto just being passed out. And of course, this is where, well, the sound three will actually appear. The three sound engines. Kim, Zakan, and Dos Dosu. That's his name. Now, of course, they appeared trying to kill Sasuke. Now, of course, it's Sasuke's traps happen and all that. And, of course, Sasuke reacts fast enough. Now, of course, it's where Sasuke and Sasuke are right now fighting against the call with the sound three. Now, of course, since Naruto's really just passed out and hasn't woken up from his like, nap a little bit, because the pain of the curse mark is still flowing through him, is changing a lot. So, yeah. So, of course, this is where Naruto, he is still just passed out, while Sasuke and, Na and Sasuke are right now fighting the sound three. Now, of course, this is where, uh, well, Team 10 is watching. And, of course, this is where Eno says, Shikamaru told you we gotta help them. And, of course, well, Rock Lee came out of nowhere. So, let me mention how Sasuke and Sasuke are doing. Before any of them actually came, Sasuke is actually fighting against what's called Dosu and Zakan. Zakan did hit him with a win, uh, win attack, which blew him away. And since Sasuke doesn't have the curse mark, he's not fast enough to dodge the wind blast from uh, Zakan. Now, of course, when Dosu tried to use his sound attack from uh, towards Sasuke, Sasuke spleen from his ears. So, yeah. Of course, Sasuke, she does cut her hair when she did get captured by what's called Kim. And, yeah. Of course, Rock Lee gets there. He fights him. They are still not powerful enough because Sasuke is pretty much hurt from the ears. And, of course, when what's it called Eno and... Uh, Choji and uh, Shikamaru gets there and start fighting them. They can't really get through what they call a sound trio because, well, they don't know really the abilities of them. As well, well, uh, Neji and Tenten gets there, and of course, Neji kind of managed to knock out the chakra points from, well, Zakan from before blowing us, uh, what's called his teammate away, like Rock Lee, even though he really doesn't care, but yeah. Now, of course, this is where, well, this is where uh, Zakon and uh, what's called Kim and also Dosu just says, let us just kill the Uchiha. Of course, this is where Sasuke realized that they were actually trying to kill him. But luckily, his friends, at, or somewhat leaf ninjas, not really friends of his, appeared. And also one fangirl. Yeah. <coughs> this is where, well... Zakan was like, that's it. Bastards really are annoying me. He did one cannon and was putting so much chakra that Neji notices and told everyone to dodge. So, of course, when everyone managed to dodge the wind-cutting blades, it cut through everything. It also made a giant crater underneath when the wind attack was going through. With that happening, everyone managed to dodge. Now, where was the wind attack going? It actually hit Naruto's tree. Now, of course, Naruto did get cut a little bit. And this is where Naruto wakes up from the pain. His eyes are red. One eye is red while the other one is closed and hasn't been open. And also, there's, well, instead of, like, what's called having the white here, it's actually black. So it's red, but instead of being slick, it's just red and black. Yeah. <coughs> So with that happening, Naruto, he wakes up. Marks are all just spreading around him. So I also mentioned how the marks would look like. Okay, so I can't really show you how it actually spread out. But the lines would just spread out like what's called. Like how these patterns are like. They just spread out. Also lines would kind of just spread out. Kind of curvy lines. So yeah, with that happening, they're all spreading around Naruto's kind of like. Well, near his shoulder. Now, of course, why Naruto's eye kind of went red is because, well, Kurama's chakra was kind of added in with the uh, whole freaking curse mark. And since a curse mark is basically people getting, well, what's called nature energy, the mark kind of reacted. 
since Naruto got hurt. Naruto didn't know how to uh, work the cursed energy, and not the cursed energy, the cursed mark, but he activated just unconsciously. Now, dark, ominous chakras started appearing around him. <coughs> Sorry, I forgot to pause. But this is where, well, <coughs> of course, when ominous chakras started appearing him, he was angry, pissed, and annoyed the fact that someone cut him. Now, of course, this giant slash was actually near kind of like his leg. So, of course, this is where Naruto's pissed and annoyed. Now, of course, one of his, well, his hair kind of also grew a little bit longer. Did it actually cover up one of his eyes? And, well, yeah. <clears throat> this is where Naruto, he is pissed. He is annoyed. And... He actually gets out of the tree. Now, of course, where Sasuke and Sasuke are realized, Naruto. But they feel this dark, ominous chakra. Of course, everyone feels it also. Except for Rock Lee. He doesn't, he can't sense that much chakra at all. So he's confused. But he can feel this, like, very angry emotion. He managed to feel that. Like, then Zakan, Dosan, and even, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kin re recognized the chakra and, like, what the? Naruto gets out and he is having like these marks all over his like what's it called face and well his chest but no one can see under his shirt so yeah so his face his face just has the lines kind of curved and all that if, if you want to think about it think of it like uh Luffy's Delphi has kind of curvy lines and all that you want it's great like that so yeah so of course if that happening Naruto is so angry and annoyed that even someone recognized this, well, chakra. This ominous chakra. Well, three people actually recognize it. Now, these three people are actually from the, uh, well, Leaf Ninja, uh, not Leaf Ninja, Grass Village. No, wait, no, 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 not Grass Village. They are from, well, hmm. They are from the village called Hidden in the Storms. A very small village. Smaller than, well, the kind of well it's somewhat the same size as like somewhat the rain village so yeah it's also similar near to there but yeah <clears throat> now this is where well three ninjas uh well one ninja well how should i say two ninjas actually recognize this weird chakra and of course well someone also recognizes it so of course these three ninjas decide to go towards the place where they felt the chakra. Now, of course, Naruto, he lays his eyes, well, one eye, his other eye is covered up. Seeing Sasuke really bad from the ears, kind of bleeding. Sees his, like, friends, Shikamaru, Ino, and even Choji, like, really hurt. And sees Rock Lee kind of having, like, what's caught. His ears also bleeding, and kind of also bleeding from the mouth. And sees Sasuke where her hair kind of cut, but he doesn't really care. He actually never really cared about Sasuke. He just really didn't like her at all, anything. He only wanted to be friendly to her because, well, she was kind of bullied like when, uh, because like he was. Since she was bullied because of her forehead, I mean that forehead is fucking huge. I know I'm roasting her right now in the middle of the what if, I'm sorry, I had to just say that. Now, of course, uh, Naruto, he was also bullied because, well, he was called a demon and all that, a brat and all that. Now, Naruto doesn't have feelings right now. His feelings are kind of like being pushed away. Just like how uh, Sasuke's feelings are getting pushed away when he had a curse mark and all that. Yeah, that's happening. Now, the three ninjas I mentioned, they landed near, near the commotion with Naruto. These three ninjas were kind of looking at Naruto. They noticed Naruto having marks all around his body. Almost all around. The one ninja said, The curse mark. Ugh, that snake bastard was here. The other two said, I see. <coughs> Sorry, that was just me coughing. <coughs> or cleaning up my throat, okay. <coughs> The other two said, I see. So I mentioned how the other two kind of looks like. So the one that said the snake bastard was here, 
has two uh what's it called two blades and of course these two blades are just uh, he has two katana blades in like the uh, well next to like his waist you can only see it because it's poking out from his well well uh cloak he really hasn't shown out his face now of course he has a cloak and well he has also a mask kind of covering up well his face a little bit not much really covering up but just like covering up his like mouth part like how kakashi has it and his hair is kind of spiky now of course he is also kind of big like i'm gonna say he is six uh four so yeah he's pretty big now of course he also his cloak is actually colored two different colors well it's kind of color into two halves one is black and the other side is white now of course this person's name is unknown. It's never been mentioned in, well, he never actually mentioned it during the tuning exams. So yeah, of course his two teammates, one with a girl with red hair and her eyes is also kind of crimson red. Now, of course, she has a red cloak, but she doesn't have it covering up her hair or her face or anything. So her cloak is kind of like red also. Well, not red, like dark red, just to kind of be kind of keeping hidden. Now, of course, his other teammate has kind of cyan blue hair. And also, like, not cyan blue hair, kind of like Turkish green hair. And also has cyan, well, not cyan blue eyes. Well, yeah, cyan blue eyes, kind of like a little bit lightish blue eyes. Of course, he does have an eye patch on the other side, and he does have a weird mark near his neck, but you can barely see it. It's similar to that of a curse mark, so yeah, you only see like 120, but it's weird. Now, of course, he does have also a cloak. Now, that cloak is kind of like black at the same time as the other one. So, of course, but his hair is also kind of longer than what's called the other two. The girl with red hair, her hair is long, but she is like 5'6", while the other guy is kind of like 5'10", the blue hair. So, of course, they're watching Naruto. Naruto is right now Berserker. Just like how, well, kind of Sasuke was in original canon. That's why Naruto appears right in front of Kim and Zakan. Zakan wanted to pull out his hand, his only other good hand. Which he was gonna blast air. Naruto grabs it and twists it to a side where you can't really twist it. He breaks it. They, everyone just hears this, and this is where everyone realized that Naruto broke the guy's arm. Zakan even realized it because if Zakan was about to put air, and he just doesn't know what really happened. It was so fast. That when he actually noticed what really happened, his arm was broken. It was twisted the wrong way. And he just started screaming. This is where Ken realized it. But then she gets kneed right in the stomach. She couldn't react fast enough to Naruto. They both, well, Kim smashes into the tree. And of course makes a crater there and kind of falls down. While Zalkan is kind of screaming, Naruto grabs his skull and smashes it to the fucking ground. So, for him to shut up. So, of course, when Dosu realized the mark, he was like, wait, stop. He got scared. Everyone realized this. And this word, Dosu says, just take the scroll. You don't hurt us. Naruto, he grabs the scroll and just ignores it. He just throws it behind him. This is where Sasuke actually catches it. And Sasuke was about to tell Naruto no. Until Naruto grabbed Dosu from the neck and started squishing. And Dosu said, please, let go of me, please. It's for Naruto to say, shut up and die. It's where Sasuke says, no, Naruto. Naruto turns around but ignores Sasuke. He only just looks at Nar uh, what, Sasuke for a little bit and just ignores him. This is where, well, uh, hit, uh, what's it called? Dosu just said, please. He's like fully just passing out. This is where, well, one of the three strangers, the red-haired girl, said, 
Should I do it now? As it were, well, the main leader, the guy with, well, the cloak being two different colors, said, sure, do it now. Stop him from actually being able to, well, get that mark and be anywhere close to that pedoish snake, that bastard snake. So, of course, the girl says, fine. She cuts herself. And, of course, she just cuts herself from her, like, arm. And blood kind of start pouring out. But this is where the blood kind of stiffened and became solid. This is where she, as she manipulates the blood and becoming kind of like small needles. And when Naruto was about to crush Dosu's kind of neck, he stops because his arm cannot move. Needles started poking out from his arm. And this is where no one actually noticed the needles. But Naruto noticed them and said, what the, I can't. Is where Dosu is actually let go because she hit some points where it actually let go of the person. But also freezes Naruto's arm from actually being able to move. It's where Naruto says, what the? How? And because Naruto's actually coming to his hands after kind of getting stung by that. This is where three other needles kind of hits Naruto. One in the back, one in the neck, and one actually near his arm. Kind of near the shoulder of where the point of the curse mark will be at. So, of course, Naruto passes out after that. Because it will be the point where, well, the needle actually hits him at the point where, what was it called, Haku hit uh, Sabuza in the neck. So, yeah. With that happening, Naruto passes out. The marks start receding faster and disappearing. And Naruto's eyes goes back into the blue color and passes out. Is it where, well, the red hair girl says, See, I'm very good at doing this. Is it where, well, the blue hair says, Wow, you actually hit him right in the back for no fucking reason, idiot. Is it where the red hair girl says, You want to do better, huh? Now, of course, Sasuke wanted to scream at Naruto before any of the needles hit him. But, you know, for being a Sasuke and being a simp to Sasuke, she couldn't really do it fast enough. She was too surprised and scared of Naruto. Now, of course, Sasuke tried to do something, but Naruto ignored him. So, of course, Naruto passes out. This is where, well, three ninjas appear. So, the three ninjas that I was talking about actually jump down. This is where all of them stand in guard. So, Nechi and Tenten, Rock Lee's too hurt still. You know, Choji Shikamaru, even though they're kind of hurt, but a little bit, they're just kind of waste their chakra a little bit. And of course, well, Sasuke, she's kind of on the ground. She can't do anything. Sasuke, he is trying to get up and break its limits. Because, well, he actually thought that he kind of lose, uh, well, he actually activated the three Tomoe's and actually thought he lose what's it called, uh, Naruto. Because Naruto is kind of like a close little, not little brother, but kind of close brother to him. Since he can actually get that bond than in original canon, how he got the curse mark. And of course, this war, well, the three ninjas say, you stand down, we're not here to fight you, leaf ninjas. Uh, what's it called, the red hair girl uh, said. This is where the blue hair guy said, ah, this is such a drag. They really need to calm down. They really need to learn how to relax. This is where, well, the main leader, who's actually 6'4", six, uh, six, is actually just looking at Naruto, ignoring the leaf ninjas, and actually walks towards Naruto. This is where Sasuke appears and says, what do you think you're doing? Now, of course, this is where, well, the leader just disappears from, well, Sasuke's view. And reappears behind him. Going up to Naruto. And actually about to grab for Naruto. This is where Sasuke says don't ignore me. And tries to stab at well. The leader. When he stabs the leader. He stabs him at where the part. Where it will be kind of a white side cloak. When he hits the white side cloak. He actually goes through him. And surprise. And says what the. This where well. The leader says, what do you want, Uchi? I'm not, I'm not interested in you. 
I am interested in this boy. And I ignore and fuck right off. This is where, well, the leader says, Hanshin, Hanshin said, the blue hair guy, raises up his head and says, Huh? Yes, leader? Deal with the Uchiha. Hanshin did, and rushes at the Uchiha, using a water style without hand signs, and shooting a water gun at, well, the Uchiha. Sasuke had to dodge, and that water gun was actually pressure into being faster than any normal water gun. It kind of like almost cut through Sasuke's like head, but only managed to cut some hair. But if the water uh, gun was actually pressured to be very fast. Think of it like a kind of water pressure gun or whatever it's called. So yeah, with that happening, this is where well, Sasuke says, you bastard. He goes through sa a hand signs and says, fire style, fire great ball. And of course, this is where he shoots it at what's it called, Hanshin. And Hanshin says, you idiot, think I don't? You Wait, not idiot, think I don't. He says, you idiot, I am made out of water. You think fire would hurt me? It hits Hanshin, and Hanshin just doesn't even get affected by the uh, fire. It hits him, but this is where it kind of looks like, well, Hanshin has like a great chunk of like his body kind of missing and all that. Which is exactly, but he reforms into becoming water. He is that of, well, what's it called? Similar to what's it called? Well, from the, uh, what was his name? Ah, uh, sorry. It's the white haired guy that, what's it called? Well, Sasuke meets, um, trying to make Team Takan or whatever. I forgot his name. But he's similar from that clan. He's actually been experimented on by Orchimaru because he wanted to have the same bloodline as the white haired guy. But of course, this guy had it to be experiment, and of course, he managed to escape in one time. I'll do a flashback about it. <coughs> <coughs> of course, we do a flashback, and what really happened? He just was experiment in a jar, and then a figure kind of broke him out of the jar and also broke the other jar. The, well, not jar, the glass containers. So the blue hair guy actually followed the uh, mysterious guy while the other guy with white hair and sharp teeth ignored both of them and let them go. He really didn't care what really happened. So of course is where that happens. So of course he actually does give what's called, I should say, he does have a great respect for the person with the white and black cloak. Now, of course, this is where, well, South Square rushes at the girl, and the girl, she just throws needles at South Square, and South Square's knocked the fuck out. She's useless as fuck. But these needles are actually smaller than that of the Senbon. They're basically like thin, thin, just needles of blood. Now, it really won't hurt anyone if they actually just melt, because at some point, it can melt and just become blood, so yeah. And not kind of, well, it can break and just melt. And you really won't be having any permanent cause of damage. But yeah. But this is where, well, Naruto is kind of just still laying there. And of course, the figure kind of goes to Naruto. And Shikamaru uses his shadow possession to grab, well, the person. And says, I'm not letting you get Naruto. But this is where, well... Shikamaru kind of saw the person still walk towards Naruto. And Shikamaru was like, what the? This is where, well, Shikamaru noticed one thing. Which, his two legs. One leg was kind of what's called his feet. And one side had a black sandal. While on the other side had a white sandal. Now, of course, Shikamaru doesn't know what really is happening. But the, it looks like the white side light side. It seems to give out a bright light to get rid of the shadow. <coughs> <coughs> so, of course, with that happening, it seems that, well, Shikamaru's shadow was, well, got rid of. Now, of course, where Shikamaru says, what the hell? This is where, well, 
The person turns back around and actually back kicks Shikamaru. Was about to back kick Shikamaru until Choji got there and tried to block the attack. But of course, they both got kicked away. Ino, she rushes at what's Kawel, the red haired girl, because when Sasuke got hit, she was like, damn it, Sasuke. And tries to stab at the red haired girl. And the red haired girl says, oh, please, darling, you can't hurt me. This is where, well, uh, Ino tries to stab her with what's called a kunai. And of course, the red hair uh, girl, she just pulls out two symbols of blood and blocks the, uh, well, <clears throat> kunai, right at the point, uh, point of the blade. With that happening, it's where Eno realized, she just like realized she fucked up. And then she gets kicked in the stomach by the red hair girl. So of course, Han Shen was right now dealing with what's called the Uchiha. And this is where, well, Han Shen managed to Kick the Uchiha away. It's where, well, it's where, well, <coughs> sorry about that. I said it twice. I don't know. I'm an idiot. Uh, well, Neji rushes at what's called, well, the person with the two different cloak figure and all that, the color uh, cloak, and also whatever sandals he wears and all that, and just says, You cannot win. I am destined to always win. He tries to attack what's called, well, the figure. <laughs> because the figure ignored his speech and all that. And the figure did tell him to shut the fuck up. It's annoying. <laughs> then Neji rushes at him and just says two pongs, four pongs, uh, eight pongs, 16 pongs, 32 pongs, 64 pongs, 128 pongs, 250, well, not just kidding. Uh, 64 pumps for mostly. I don't know why I went through a lot of numbers. But yeah, he did those attacks and hits the person. But it looks like he went through the person. Now, of course, multiple holes appear in the person. But of course, he can see through them like a tree behind him and all that. Because this person just reforms. And he cannot be hit by Neji physically. He's like intangible. If you want to think about it, if you want to think about it, you can think about it like if he ate the Pico Pico no Mi. Somewhat like that. But yeah. Now, of course, is where, well, the person, he just put his leg up and put like a white light, like a weird white light into his leg and actually kicks Neji away. He just kicks Neji away. Kicking him to the tree. Nerji's down for the count a little bit. He's trying to get back up. Tenten, she throws her weapons at what's called the person. Well, all her, all the weapons just goes through him. This is where the person, he put his arm up. And of course, his arm becomes black. And of course, it just becomes bigger. And he says, darkness, darkness, cl no, I just can't, not darkness, darkness, darkness style, darkness clock. Slices at ten 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 ten. She does get cut in her arms, and she does get hit into the tree. So yeah, so of course this is up to Rock Lee, and Sasuke actually Sasuke is knocked out. Rock Lee just rushes at what's it called the figure, and tries to kick him, until well both his attacks kind of just goes through him. This is where well the person he just says leave me alone already. He pulls out his what well, right hand besides that's at the what's it called light side, the white cloak and all, and shoots a light attack at Rock Lee from his finger, like a white uh light shot from the fingers. Hitting Rock Lee right in the what's it called chest. And missing all his organs, but yeah. Uh, Rock Lee said, What the and falls back. <clears throat> this is where the figures were about to get what's it called Nard. Until, well, Kiba, no, nah, just kidding, not Kiba. But when the figure actually grabbed Naruto, he actually grabbed Naruto, well, from the arm and actually put him behind him, like giving him a piggyback ride. And of course, well, the other figures, like the Hanche who was actually fighting against Sasuke, decides to kick Sasuke away and says, Goodbye, Uchiha. He disappeared, and of course, the red-haired girl says, 
That was so boring. And she disappears with the other cloak figure. But this is actually where I'm going to leave it off. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seed. Potato, potato. And potato. But yeah. Also, Toxin. I want to mention something. Toxin. If, uh, what's it called? I hope you like what I did with your, what's it called? Uh, OC character. I also gave, gave uh, what's it called? O OC character to other teammates. Which, yeah. <clears throat> but, I showed her what's it called. Also, I didn't know what height you wanted me to just put him or whatever. I was thinking this for like the whole time when I was sick. But yeah, I have my other what ifs and I've been also kind of sick and wanted to do them. Not, well, literally and also kind of uh, wanting to do them in the figure of speech because I was kind of bored for being sick. But yeah, I'm still sick and all that. But yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato say potato, potato. Uh, I hope my my voice and me coughing tons and tons didn't really distract you. But yeah, potato. <coughs> but yeah, I hope I get better tomorrow. Bye-bye.